for an example there is a uh, there is one segment that is known as simulations simulation lessons in those simulation lessons uh, various new approaches various new methods various new techniques are taught for an example if you look into at the tele top you will find that if you are teaching accounts in class 11th or 12th commerce there are very me methods that are given for an example uh, inductive method as i told you what is inductive method inductive method is something that start with the example and then it come to the definition second is a deductive method where you will find the definition is there and first the definition is explained very nicely and then uh, the examples are taken from the students inductive method as i told you is something where the where you give examples where you give promotions to the students giving some incidents and from those things they will construct the concept they will construct the definition of that particular thing so that is known as inductive approach or inductive method but when it come to detective method that means the teacher draws the principle very nicely that this is a principle this is a theory this is a definition and these are the things that is associated with the definition now you give me examples so all these things uh, contribute to detective method the next factor is the analysis and synthesis now analysis and synthesis is something very interesting like uh, in accounts they give sums and from the sums they have to analyze the things that contribute to the concept or contribute to the, to the particular some methodology that they analyze it now they have to dissect they have to disseminate this portion into very various many things like if you make a balance sheet how many accounts to be made priorly how many things have to be proved chronologically so all these things are taken into concern wh when you teach accounts through this method that means through analysis and synthesis method so when you are teaching accounts you can use probably use innovative methods like uh, i i told you in uh, inductive method detective method and analysis and synthesis method when you go to commerce when you are teaching commerce or business administration you will find that there are many approaches the first and basic is known as the advance organizer the second is known as concept attainment model the third is known as comparative method and the same inductive deductive one of the most innovative methods that are used in commerce is uh, advance organizer what is advance organizer advance organizer means as the name suggest advance means you make in advance the necessary things that to be taught in the class priorly and you make a presentation either in uh, either powerpoint presentation or you will jot down those points and present it on a roller board fine and then you go to the class and explain those things that these are the important things and that is associated with this and you give certain examples and you organize it properly structured and systematic so that type of method is known as advance organizer the second is concept attainment model that again is something that you gather the information from round the way and you come to a certain uh, conclusion yes this is the concept fine for an example if you are taking uh, teaching warehousing in commerce what happens here you ask them to collect information what you do about the goods where do you keep the goods okay what are the things that to be kept in mind when you store goods so everything they do and ultimately they come to the concept yes that this is known as warehousing next is a comparative method comparative method means comparing two concepts the demerits and the merits the advantages and the disadvantages so simply it is known as comparative method and it is very useful in commerce and the last is inductive detective 
I think it is very well acknowledged what is inductive and what is detective. Inductive means starting uh, from my example and coming to the concept and detective means from the uh, definition you are coming to the uh, examples. So this is this was about uh, what are the new innovative methods for, through which you can teach commerce subject. Next is Hindi. So here you can use Khandanvi Paddati. Second, you can use direct method. Then the same inductive, deductive. When you are teaching Hindi subject, uh, you are mainly the poem. Then one of the innovative methods to teach poetry is a Khandanvi Paddati. Now what is Khandanvi Paddati? Khandanvi means Kavya, the dissections of the uh, poems and elaborating the poems and the contents with the incidents or with the associated words figures of speech or ornamental language and when you teach through this method student will understand the minuteness or the details of about the uh, poem given or the what is there in the lyrics what is the importance of such lyrics or why it has been written like this so khandanvi me uh, method uh, paddati is uh, one of the most innovative methods of hindi Second is a direct method. Direct method is very simple. Here you have to, uh, it is given, there is introduction, there is model reading. Model reading means model reading of the paragraph by the teacher and model reading of the same paragraph by the student. And having this, why direct method? Because in language we have to satisfy four skills. That is LSRW, listening, speaking, reading and writing. These four skills are only satisfied when you teach through this method that is known as direct method and the same inductive and detective method. Next is English. When you teach English, there are categories. When you teach grammar, there are three methods through which you can teach grammar. The first method is known as inductive, second is known as deductive and the third is known as grammar translation method. When you teach grammar in English, it can be taught through three innovative methods that is in, uh, inductive method, detective method and grammar translation method. Up till now you are very clear with uh, inductive and detective but when it comes to grammar translation method it is very simple. It is like you have to explain uh, the grammatical concepts through your uh, mother tongue or through the simple language so that the students can understand it very nicely. You can translate the whole concept in the uh, language they are comfortable within. So grammar translation method is something that where your in a comfort level matches with the student. Like they are well versed with simple language, they are well versed with Gujarati, Hindi or any other regional languages. You can translate those inputs and give to it very nicely and they can understand those portions of theory or the principles of grammar. When we go to prose and poetry, the same thing, you can teach prose, poetry is taught by synectics method. Now what is the synectic method? Synectic method means bifurcating the uh, stanzas. First of all, when you have the poem, you have the written for poem, make them understand what is the theme of the poem. By stanza wise, you have to recite the poem very nicely. You have to explain the figures of speech very nicely. Then uh, give them proper analogies that which are the analogies there or which are the portion of comparison, which kind of what kind of figures of speech are used. Now tell them to prepare a same poem with their own thinking with law, uh, with the analogy which are almost same to the lines that the poet has given so in synetics method helps to rejuvenate uh, the creative thinking of the students 
pros you have the same the direct method you can use advanced organizer the c a l l call or c a i that is computer assisted instruction as i told you earlier in the uh, lecture also that innovative methods uh, just because of its innovations the talk and chalk method is also good because we all have studied from the same routine method but it depends upon the teacher how fruitfully he or she uses in the class so especially in teacher education there are lots of methods given for each and every subject how do you teach in the class but it is up to the teacher how he or she uh, concludes it or properly winds up or properly presents the uh, things in the class very aptly innovative methods of teaching is something that uh, a teacher should think about twice when she, he or she enter the class yes i can teach through this i have made an homework and uh, it is probable for the students to be active in the class so the basic uh, theme of innovative method is that to increase the activeness of the students and the teacher as well to be an active participator a promoter and a facilitator in the class only so that a teaching learning process have no stoppage it goes and goes as it is said learning is something that is a never ending process from the birth till you reach the grave you learn lot of things okay so we should never acknowledge ourselves as a teacher we should always acknowledge as, as we are the learners so if you are the learner that the students will obviously will be an active participant in your class so as i have told you earlier that these are the methods through which uh, you can teach in the class this is known as innovative teaching methods for further information you can go, go to bruce and joyce's models of teaching in which lots of new uh, methods are given or you can go to jc agrawal's book also where these methods are given so there are lot of information for innovative methods of teaching and even if you if you want to get all this information lesson plan how to make a lesson plan how to make a uh, how these techniques are fruitful in which ways for an example if you are teaching science there are lot of things like chemistry biology physics okay so how we can teach physics how we can teach chemistry biology etc so all this can be held with various kinds of method instead of using the same chalk and talk method thank you mm -hmm.